Alright guys, this is Demetri0924 and today I got that Purporta AUL Leather Edge case to review for you guys today. I know I got part 2 on there, forget that, I'm deleting it. This is going to be the straight up video. I've been, I retook this like the third time already, this is going to be my last time and whatever comes out, comes out. So let me just get into this. So alright, so I already got my iPod Touch right here and I am using the music skin don't worry guys I will be making an installation video for this I just wanted to put this on here so the back doesn't scratch up in case if the material in the case messes up so alright so here we have the case again it's in green has that little, little nail right there <coughs> and that's where the swivel case is a uh, swivel clip I don't know why I'm saying swivel case that's where the clip is going to be at and you can kind of see that circle right there because I already put it on there before alright so we already got the lanyard too matches and then matches that too with um matching so and then we have the little thing right here for the swivel clip and then we have the swivel clip right here and then you have the instructions so let me just move this out of here I don't, uh, you guys probably don't want to see the, put the lanyard on, I mean it's just basically, you put it on here, bam, alright, so, uh, let me open this, so right here it says purported.com, I actually thought that was a magnet, but it wasn't, and then you got a sticker right here, let me zoom in, it says for mobile device repairs, visit purported.com, because Reporter does uh, do the device repairs, and they have a phone, a phone number there. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna call in London just to get my iPod fixed. But anyway, so let me put the iPod in the case and just, just kind of slide it in there like this, and then bam. I already got it in there and it, it's firm like it's not gonna come out like I can shake this all day and it's not because it's in there pretty firm and it's really likely not gonna come out at all I mean even if you run with this it, it won't come out at all I mean it's just impossible because they purported made this firm enough where it's not coming out at all unless you put force on here and all you gotta do is um, press the bottom, squeeze it out from the bottom and just push it out and then bam there you go but, uh... alright so this is not magnetic, you just push it down on both sides and then it should be that, that. so it's, it's safe, secure only thing that is not protecting is the edges right here so you guys have to be very careful if you guys drop this you do not want it to drop on these two parts right here because it will mess up it will get scratched up bad and of course it's for the 1G so all you 1G owners well actually I think they had made this for the 2G too so you know all you iPod 1G's and 2G's you guys should check this case out um, they have it for both 1G and 2G, and it's uh, $29.95 on purporter.com. Alright, so, just a quick ad uh, advertisement. Alright, so I'm going to put the camera down to put on the swivel clip. Alright, so, all you can really do this with your fingernail. All you got to do is twist it like that. Hold on. Oh man, I'm just tightening it. Oh, and uh, iPhone 3G owners, I think they do make this for the 3G too. I'm not sure, but that's where you guys should check out Purporter's website. Alright. So, what you want to do now is you just put this in here. Put them in a little hole, and then bam! All you gotta do, 
There you go. There's a swivel. How do I take my iPod out? I don't remember taking my iPod out. Alright, but anyway, there you go. Swivel clips on there. And I really am not sure how my iPod got out of the case. But yeah. Overall, this is a real nice case. Um, let me put the camera down real quick. See, it's easy, or it's, yeah, it's easier to put it with two hands than just to do all with one. Okay, so you have access to your uh, sleep button. You just turn it, and then, yeah. And you also can charge this with the case on because it's uh, open at the bottom and you can listen to your music there because your uh, earphone slot is open. So, now if you guys like want to play games, like games that requ uh, require like the uh, accelerometer, some of them would work and some of them wouldn't work because, you know, like I guess you'd have to take the swivel clip off which I just like accidentally chucked off um, sometimes it is easy to play games and sometimes it's not and, like you can't some games you have to hold it like this you can't like to hold it like this cause like I tried to play eyeball today and every time I just flicked it would just flip up like that like and I don't want that <laughs> so let me start off with the cons now one major problem I had with this was a swivel clip. It's not be it's not the swivel clip, it's just the placement of where Purporta put it at. I wish it was somewhere lower right here because that feels more comfortable right there. I mean I put it on yesterday it was fine, but I just wish it was right there and wish it was like more firm and it didn't move as much. Cause all the uh all day the iPod was just moving all day and I don't want that. I just want it to be firm. Not moving like you can rotate it but it doesn't move like once you rot rotate it to that spot and you move it doesn't move at all and that's just really one thing I didn't like about that the second thing as I said before if you drop this the edges aren't covered at all so I'm a little bit worried about that so I really don't want to drop my iPod at all because I've already dropped it before and that was really the worst day of my life <coughs> Um, so those are my only two cons, basically. Um, overall, good. Oh, hold on. Let me tell you about the pros. Um, as I said before, it gives you access to your sleep wake button and your um, dock and earphones, and it feels really like it feels like it will give you support. You know, if you drop it. You know, I don't have to worry about it as much. It's like, oh, okay, it just dropped. It'll be all right, cause the iPod will still be fine. So you know, the seams. I try to zoom in there a little bit. As you can see there, it, it really looks like you know, it's they took their time on that seam right there, and it's a really great color. Um, you know, it kind of matches that. But overall, good product. So, guys, thanks for watching. Florida, thank you for sending me out this product. And I will definitely review the dual silicone case tomorrow. So, guys, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.